Hello guys, today I want to share some results I got with uh, the Google Deep Dream software and for this I used uh, mainly two models the default Google Deep Dream model and the, the billing model which I discussed uh, in my previous video so the, the source pictures look like this one uh, was a landscape picture uh, from, from Canada I believe <laughs> well it doesn't matter with, with clouds and stuff then uh, another picture with a beautiful cloud I made myself. I chose clothes because people usually also tend to interpret different and, uh, shapes, structures and stuff in clouds. So I thought that would be interesting. And another picture of uh, some kind of mountain. So uh, here are some of the, of the results I got. So uh, this, uh, this output I uh, got with... Uh, the building model obviously and it used the uh, five uh, pool project output and I think that this one looks quite amazing it's it's at a quite high resolution it took also a very long time to compute because I'm doing this on a CPU and yeah I, I think this just looks amazing I mean they're difficult to be described with words of course and also, obviously, it used a lot of iterations, uh, which you can also find in my script. Because uh, if you if you only do it one time, the the structures are going to be quite vague. So this used, I, I think, seventy or eighty repeats. So that's why it took so long. So the next one is uh, also with the building model uh, of the other picture, the picture of the mountains, uh, Canada, <laughs> and. Uh, it has uh, another layer, it has the Inception 4E output layer and you can see the, the shapes are a little bit more primitive, lower level of, uh, of abstraction, uh, which you can see there, but also interesting, a lot of um, pagod kind of structures, which you, which you generally tend to see a lot in the building model. So this one also used a lot of iterations 60 or 70 and so took quite a long time to compute so this one is from my cloud picture this actually uses the completely default settings of google deep dream and the default model and uh, so default other layer settings and yeah obviously yeah dogs yeah right so the next one, I'm sorry, uh, the next one also uses the default Google model, but uh, with a slightly lower level model, uh, the 4B output layer. So while here you could really see not only eyes, but kind of dog noses, dog feet and stuff, more or less complete dogs. Well, that's, that's quite a lot to say, but anyway, here it's more the, the shapes of eyes and well, more sort of lower level of abstraction like you uh, saw with the building model. So this, uh, this is a picture of uh, the other model. It uses, it, it also used the default Google model, the 4C output layer, the 19 iterations. Yeah, it kind of looks similar to, to this one. If, if you will, because of the dogs and stuff. This is slightly uh, higher quality, higher resolution. So yeah, this one uses again the Google building models of the 4C output layer. So a lot of iterations, also a lot of pagod kind of structures. It looks looks really amazing, I think. And this one uh, uses also the building model, but the 4, 4E, Inception 4E output layer. And this is really hard to interpret, I think, because it's, it's really hard to say what's going on, but that's also one of the reasons that makes it so beautiful. And yeah, it's difficult to, to say much about this. And this one uses again the, the animal model, but, um, but the uh, slightly uh, higher abstraction layer, the Inception 5A layer, 17 iterations. 
so you kind of can see yeah something something bird like or so birds I don't know reptiles or so no idea what that is but definitely birds some other structures depends on uh, uh, what the, the model has been trained on which you can uh, if you want to read the official paper for this is again using uh, the cloud picture with the, the inception a output layer also just like this 5a uh, layer you can see uh, not, not not really dogs but I, I'd say reptiles or birds or so and uh, this one also the 5a layer but this time was uh, actually it, it's exactly the these two pictures are exactly the same setting but of course with Google Deep Dream each time you're going to get a different result and this uses 123 iterations so to basically the whole day but but I mean the result is also far more vivid you can see a lot more details a lot more structure and this is I, I don't know what's going on here but it's the inception for B output layer with default settings so I think 15 iterations and it's really difficult to say what's going on here and this uh, again uses the default Google Deep Dream settings the inception for C output layer with the animal model and here you have again buildings uh, the, the building model the place Google Net place model inception 5a layer outputs it's really nice okay and this is it guys so I thought this would be interesting to to share some of my favorite results with Google Deep Dream and obviously I'm running this in a virtual machine right now and these things on a CPU of course take a really long time to compute so thanks a lot for watching and yeah see you in the next video cheers guys